Right, the carburetor is stripped down. That's the float chamber, that's the float that came out of it, and the needle valve. The needle valve there stops petrol coming in at the bottom. That pipe down in the corner goes to the bottom of the casting there. Now, there's a plug that comes out there and there's another plug that comes out there. Those are both for taking debris out from underneath two jets. The jets unscrewed from there and there as per the user manual. The power jet, the smaller one here, is a tube I've just blown through this to try and clear a blockage because it's been an absolute pain. The slow running and main jet is that. That screws into the bottom of this diffuser. This diffuser lives in there and was extracted out the top. So the diffuser's cleaned out the main jet and the slow running jet. It is a slow running jet when the gas pedal is released that's completely shut off and the air bypass screw, this one here, is slightly open to let air through on tick over, petrol mixture, sorry. So that screw blocks or unblocks, depending which way you turn it, how much mixture comes up through that hole. Where that hole connects down to isn't very clear, but it must be the other side of this barrel valve, and you can see that the barrel has got a slot cut in it, so the upper head of the main and slow running jet, I hope you can see it, can poke through. Right, both jets are tubes from top to bottom, really. The bottom is always uh, in petrol, as supplied from the float chamber. Right. When the, when the throttle is completely open, there's a small hole in the drum, which you can't really see in this shot, but that swings into line with power jet channel there. So full throttle, that's when and only when the power jet is active. And that's pretty much all there is to it. I should mention that that screw in particular, if that's loose, that will cause an air leak because the thread comes into the inlet manifold. So those three ought to be tight. Refer to the user manual about that screw and that screw. Basically, they don't need to be touched. Finally, that control there is a hexagonal screw. Here. That controls the, the tick-over mixture strength. And in this particular case, uh, the amount it screws in is exactly that, that much. Uh, inwards to enrich, outwards to weaken. Right, that's the air strangler reassembled and I'll finish this little note. This seemed to have been blocked after a lot of blowing and sucking. Uh, quite a lot of air then passed through it, so just reinstall that. Put the bung in the bottom and we'll see how we go.